What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dirt Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today and today I have the first episode of a brand new series on the channel for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any content to come. If you guys are a little bit confused, I already posted a channel update, so I highly recommend you go check that out if you're kind of confused on what's going on. But anyways, for the people that are all caught up to speed, this is the start of one of our uh, many new series coming to the channel, including uh, this new series right here, Classic Model Reviews. So this series is going to entail, like I talked about in the channel update, this series is going to be about reviewing classic models that came out in the past. So I'm really excited to do this series. Very simplistic uh, concept. All we're going to do here is review one model per video that has that came out um, before, uh, or pretty much a model that I have not reviewed on the channel. So anything pretty much before 2015 or so. So somewhere in that sense. But for the most part, it's gonna be classic models. So I'm really excited to do this. There's not gonna be a template organizer or scale to go off of or anything. I'm just gonna simply review the model, tell you guys what I like about it and everything like that. And as you can tell, we are starting off with something that uh, you guys are probably very jealous of. This is the Delta Connection my Beer and Sierra Day Dash 900 from 2008 by Gemini Jets. This thing is amazing. It really needs to be re-released, but uh, I am so fortunate to have it. Uh, definitely got to start with uh, this thing. So I got it for $93 in uh, October, or I think September, October 2019. So I've had it for a little over a year at this point. It is beautiful man there's nothing more to say um we're gonna begin and uh we'll take a look at this dutch connection bombier nice here day dash 900 i would do the box if we had the box but unfortunately the box did not come with the model so we will begin with the actual model so here's the overview let's begin over here with the nose kiln as we have the nose and then uh, some markings up here including the pivot tube markings and numerous others really big a landing deer jordan and sierra g 900 uh, nose then we had the cockpit windows as well and the windshield wipers really good detail for 2008 sky team logo big door and then delta connection titles one thing i noticed on all the older delta models like 763 752 738 is that the delta billboard titles were they seem a little different font or something compared to nowadays this may have been uh, before they redid delivery in 2014 that the actual aircraft had billboard titles like this i don't recall it but that's just my assumption could be different though it's been a long time delta connection titles you have a couple window shades up here closed and a couple open then uh, since we're starting over here on this side for the regional jet, uh, we have our two luggage loaders, really interesting on the 900, it looks really, really nice. Um, then you get your splash, your blue underbelly, we'll look at that more in a second. You have your overwing exits and then you have the wing as well. Um, with the beautiful winglets that they do on the CRJ-900, this variant. Of course, American Eagle has uh, both the very slanted in and the slanted out at a 45 degree English. Uh, Deltas are all 45. Uh, most of them are 45 degree angles. I think they have a couple that are straight up. I could be wrong on that though. Really nice detail here on the wing. This is impressive for that 2008, May came out 2009 time frame. November 679 Charlie Alpha is the registration on this aircraft. And then you have these beautiful engines and then the Delta Widget Tail. This is back when delivery was essentially almost brand new. So when this model came out, I was one trying to say. And really nice detail, as you can tell, for them to get the 15132 on the tail right there. And then there's the horizontal stabilizer. It's looking really, really nice. Uh, one thing that I did want to note here, uh, that, as you can tell, this view may look familiar to some of you guys that have been around the channel for a long time. That was actually the seat that I sat in uh, over here on the left side. I want to say it was 10D. I think it was right here or so on the uh, flight from Tulsa to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and that trip port in June 2019. So that may look familiar to you guys. It was a really good trip port, uh, really fun times. Uh, so yeah, here's another broad look in the model. And now we'll turn it around and get the other side. Of course, the other side is going to be very similar, uh, but you have the smaller door here on the re CRJ 900, of course. Um, not too many other differences on this side. Uh, typically you have your luggage loaders on this side, but that's the other side for CRJ 900. Uh, just really good detail. You have to uh, really keep in mind how much Gemini Jets did detail wise on their older models. And then here's the tail once again. Um, I remember I've always had problems with these tails falling off, so I've had to re-glue them. My American Sierra 700, my United Sierra 700, blue tulip, just a, a variety of models. I think I may have even had an American Sierra 200 that I had the issue on. So let's take a look at the undercarriage. Here's the undercarriage, it looks really nice. You got the red line, uh, looks really, really nice. Uh, sorry, they got that window shade thing in the way. There's your two luggage loader doors, and then there's your stand hole. Uh, the very classic large 
uh, Gemini Jets logo. This is right when they began to do the uh, blue and yellow logo more often, but it was not in the box at this point. And the main rolling landing gear roll, which is very impressive for that uh, late 2000s time frame. Uh, one thing that you also do notice is you have these uh, in great, or you have this shape here, which is present on the real life aircraft, so that's cool. And really, really small, but you have the uh, preventer of getting the model stretched up when you tilt it or when it may tilt back. So there's that really nice silver trim here on the landing gear, and just love the winglet. Um, Mm, super, super nice. I was really glad to fly on one of these babies. Really nice detail on the wings as well, uh, especially on the underside, as you can see. So getting a nice broad look here. Um, really just love this aircraft in general. Obviously very nice and simplistic, but on top of that, the winglets just look so cool. This is one of my few CRJ 900s with these type of winglets. It's the only one that Gemini does have with the CRJ 900 to my knowledge still. I think they did on the Air Canada like this, so inc incredible stuff. I uh, really miss this time frame, man. They also did the Calm Air, which is, uh, I would say, maybe slightly more common than the normal livery CRD 900. This model obviously has a insane value. I somehow got mine for $93, but I've seen them go for around $100, $400, and this screenshot that really still blows my mind, but it does say $1,000, and I don't think it's Photoshopped, so uh, yeah, that as well. But man, just super, super nice, man. I really like uh, these regional jets. And uh, just in comparison, if you guys don't have a regional jet and want to see how small it is, that is it in my hand. My hands are fair size, I would say. So, yeah, uh, kind of small. So that is the Delta Connection Bombier and ACRJ-900 by Gemini Jets that came out in 2008-2009 time frame. Super, super nice model. I highly recommend it if you can even find it. Real classic, really glad to have it. Hopefully, they can get the IQ to do another one and the American Eagle and etc. All those regional jets that we really, really need in our collections that... We are unfortunately not able to get due to the due to not the, them not being out or just how hard they are to find. But I hope you guys enjoyed my new uh, vid, the first new video of the new series called Classic Model Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me in the comments what model you guys would like to see me do next, like the Jet Blue A320 Stripes Tail or one of the American Chromes, etc. I'd be really eager to hear Spirit Digital, plenty of models, Mer Skyliners, American Eagle. We got Jet X models. We have plenty of classic models to do, and I'm willing to do it as long as I don't have a review of it on the channel. So as long as it's not my massive unboxing series or my model unboxing series, if you know that I have not reviewed the mo model on the channel, I'm happy to do it because that's kind of what the point of this is, to review older models that we have not uh, got, took a look at. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please let me know in the comment section which one you guys would like to see. And uh, please stay tuned for my new videos coming out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe, guys. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Dirt Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Red Dirt Aviation is signing off. Yeah.